I'm Karen Gillen and I'm going to show you my everyday skincare routine and my everyday makeup look with a cheeky pop of lip. Number one, Rejuvi. I really love this product so much and I've been using it for years now. And what I love is that there's hardly any ingredients in it and it's mainly aloe vera gel. Okay, so this is on my hand. I take this Rejuvi flavonoid complex and I will do a couple of squirts into the hand. Now, as you can see, there's a tint to it. So it will kind of give me a little bit more of a healthy glow. I have pretty dry, extremely fair skin. I have to be careful with the sun and I have to keep it moisturized because it's more prone to being dry than it is oily, actually. Only maybe five years ago did I get serious about skincare and I, I feel so much better for it now. I feel like my skin is a lot nicer. So now I'm gonna do my moisturizer, which is La Mer. I'm gonna use like that much. I have insane makeup in the roles that I play. I mean, really heavy duty prosthetics sometimes. Um, and so my skincare is really important when I'm playing those roles. So during the time of filming, I will definitely take extra care with my skincare and being really regimented about it. But sometimes I also like to give my skin a break from just having anything on it. The all important sunscreen. This is the one I'm gonna to use today. And it's got zinc in it and that's why I've gone for it. I'm just gonna do a little aquaphor. I have been extremely regimented about my eating, actually. I have someone that comes in and cooks all of my food for me because I'm completely inept in a kitchen. And it just means that I, I eat properly, which is something that I really need to do to feel good um, about myself and also to just be I don't know the best version of myself. Since I worked with a nutritionist and she kind of like, she took a blood test and figured out that I was allergic to quite a lot of things that I was eating. And so my skin has gotten a lot better since I um, cut those things out. I'm gonna curl the lashes. Foundation time. I'm gonna go for this. Charlotte Tilbury is also a redhead. So I feel like she makes good stuff for redheads. I have often struggled with finding the right shade um, of foundation because I am so pale. But this feels nice and it warms me up just a little bit. Makeup goes over that flavonoid complex really well. You don't want to mix that flavonoid complex with zinc sunscreen. <laughs> So it will turn your face green. So I'm from Scotland originally. I'm from Inverness in the Highlands, known for the Loch Ness Monster. He is real. I feel like I, I grew up like maybe trying to look like a skater girl a little bit. I remember I dyed like the two front pieces of my hair like fuchsia pink and then like the bottom inch because I saw it in like a um, Destiny's Child music video, Bootylicious. Um, and I was like, I can be Bootylicious. I wasn't. I love this brush so much. This shape for concealer is really, really good. Sometimes I use this really old used <laughs> foundation that I need to update. It's so good. Like the coverage is amazing. Laura Mercier. Now what I would do is kind of like seal this in with some powder. I'm going to use this MAC. I love this powder so much. It's light plus mineralized skin finish and it just, it really doesn't move. So whenever I do my own makeup, it kind of feels like I'm at the spa. Just compared to like when I play my character Nebula in the Marvel movies, it doesn't feel like you're at the spa. It feels like you're being operated on. <laughs> it's essentially a second skin that they glue onto me. So none, it's not actually done with paint, it's done with prosthetics. So you definitely feel enclosed. You're, you're kind of in face prison. Um, but then you catch yourself in the mirror and you're like, I look really cool and it's so worth it. So it's blusher time. I'm gonna go for this. It's the Benefit Dandelion. When I was watching, I think it was an interview for normal people. The makeup artist was talking about how she like made the actors look younger in their school years. And she would take the blusher down here, like this. So I'm either gonna look young or insane. I definitely lean towards more like um, fresh, natural colors. Like I wouldn't want a really heavy blusher. I would want something light and fresh because I am so pale and I have the ginger hair. It's brow time. I'm gonna use this. It's Benefit Brow Pomade. I like it because, I don't know, you can really control how much you put on the brush. Okay, I'm gonna brush them up first. I grew up in a time where I think people were really making these brows small and skinny. And so I think I was plucking the hell out of them when I was younger and it was a huge mistake because I actually love a more sort of bushy 
brow, I think it looks a lot more flattering on the face. And so I try to make them look a little more bushy than they are actually by filling them in and then brushing them up and using some gel to hold them in place. This stuff is probably the best brow gel I have discovered. It's called One Size Brow Kiki. Now these brows might look like a little bit too big for my face right now, but I'm gonna balance that out with my eye makeup. So I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury um, Desert Haze palette. It's so nice and it's really, this is really good for the gingers. I'm gonna start with this. Definitely the craziest thing I've had to do for a role is shave my head. And it was for the Nebula character in the Marvel films. Um, the director was like, whoever plays this role must shave their head. Who's willing to do that? And I was like, I am. It was like part of my identity almost. So like, I was always described as like, oh, that, that girl with the red hair, like it felt part of who I was, like a trademark of sorts. So I shaved it all off. But then as a gift, Marvel were like, we're gonna take every strand of your hair and sew it into a wig which was made by the people on the Star Wars movie, actually. It's too small now for me to wear with hair. So I had it turned into hair extensions that I wore on one of my latest films, The Bubble. Okay, so now I'm gonna do this color, mixed with a little bit of this color. It was a wild experience to shave my head and really liberating and people thought I was a man a lot, but that was okay. Like one time I was in a hotel, lying on the bed, um, and then this guy walked in who worked at the hotel and he saw me and he was like, oh, I'm sorry, sir. But instead of actually correcting him being like, I am a woman, I just couldn't deal with the awkwardness because I'm like a British person. And so I like deepened my voice and was like, no problem. <laughs> I think that my features are a little bit in the center of my face. So I think it's flattering on me if I pull outwards. I have always really liked makeup. I didn't know anything about it because my mum is not into it at all, so I never really had an introduction. And then I had this friend who's obsessed with makeup. Her mum was always really into products. And she showed me this whole world of like products and skincare and makeup. And I was like, oh, this is the coolest thing ever. And I haven't looked back since. So I'm just gonna go under the eye. I use the Dr. Hauschka eye definer number two. It's got a wee sponge on the end of it and it's brown, which is quite nice on a redhead. Okay, so now I'm gonna blend it a little bit so that it's not so harsh of a line. As part of my mission to pull outwards, I'm just gonna do like a little bit of a cat eye. I also like to go in there. It's a little flattering to get in that little corner. Now it's time for mascara. I'm going for Marc Jacobs. Look at how cute this is. So I'm gonna use this Benefit product, um, High Beam, which is something I've been using since I was a teenager with my best mate, Donna, in Scotland. And we were obsessed with Benefit. And so there's like a certain nostalgia that comes with um, Benefit makeup for me. I'm gonna finish this off with my cheeky lip. And I'm gonna use Burt's Bees. This I really like because you can just carry it around with you like in your purse if you're ever like, oh my God, I'm about to see people. I didn't think I was gonna see. Let me just put this on. It's really handy for that. Just a little overdraw, which you can do by just going like that. Guys, we've done it. Thank you for joining me on this journey. <laughs>